Hey y'all, so today is Wednesday, uh, January 5th, and tonight I am going to go to the Dominican Republic, um, that's a new trip for business, and also I'm gonna go visit my doctor, Dr. K, because I haven't given you guys an update about my breast healing, so I'm gonna show you, prepare if you do not like surgery stuff, surgery related content, and prepare if you don't like wounds and blood and all that other you know nasty things that you know has to do with surgery but um i am flying out today with my boyfriend and i'm just gonna show you guys real quick what my breast is looking like so the hole ended up opening up again and as you can see you can see the implant and it has not shown any signs of it closing so i might need stitches and um, hopefully the implant is not infected because once the implant is exposed it is really likely to get like it's prone to be or uh, more likely prone to get infected so um it doesn't look infected i've been putting neosporin the reason why i'm more spring is because it's really early in the morning and people are still sleeping but it doesn't feel infected, doesn't look infected. But I just want her to check it out. And then hopefully, you know, we can resolve this by getting some stitches. I have tried going to the ER here like three times. And the most that they can give me is antibiotics. They will not stitch me up. Um, they do recommend me to a plastic surgeon here. But obviously, since they didn't do the work, it's going to be a little iffy. And obviously, they are going to charge you an arm and a leg to do whatever work so i'm afraid that they might tell me you know oh you know we're gonna have to take it out and then charge me like 15 to twenty thousand dollars to do it no thank you i'll go back to my doctor i'd rather pay a 500 dollars flight to go see my doctor for a week and maybe get it fixed down there real quick i have not been feeling good my throat hurts i was doing a live on meet me the other day and i smoked um hookah and i guess the hookah was burnt so i'm not sure if the reason why my neck is swollen or it hurts is because of that hopefully it is and not that i'm getting covid i have no fever but i do have like slight body chills so i don't know hopefully it's not that um i did try going to get tested but that um that didn't work out everybody and their mother is getting tested these past few days to return back to work um since they traveled outside of the country for holidays and stuff like that so i'm gonna take you guys with me and um and we'll see what the doctor says and yeah hopefully you know i could keep up with these vlogs and then show you guys what i've been up to lately which is bottle girl working at my daycare and right now as of right now or as of yesterday my mother is kicking me out of the house so we're going to be going house hunting as well or not house hunting more likely like um apartment hunting so i'm gonna take you guys on that journey with me as well just a regular regular uh life of grateful leandres you know it's always something it's always like either surgery or kids or husband something right there's it's not life if you don't have some type of plot twist so sorry guys if i didn't say hi if you are new don't be shy hit the subscribe button right down there and just enjoy the vlogs and when it comes to surgery related and lifestyle i can't even talk my throat hurts so bad so i'm gonna go get ready because i have to go get my blood uh drawn so i had a physical in november and i've been putting it off to go get my metabolic um what's it called panel done so basically just to know like where my blood levels are at if i'm sick or whatever you know all that good stuff that they do at a physical so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna get ready and then yeah i'll take you guys with me and then i have to redo my um luggage because i feel like i overpacked for only five days that thing is really heavy <laughs> and a typical girl you know we like to overpack just to have options but um yeah i forgot to put in a couple things in there that are necessary like a nightgown <laughs> and um you know my makeup and stuff like that so yeah later on we're gonna do that so yeah stick around
and just like that we are out to the Dominican Republic is the coffee yes Hi guys, I am in the capital and today is obviously day one. We slept, we woke up early because we needed to go do some errands, run some errands in the morning. Me and my um, boyfriend. Then when we got home, I ate a little bit. I ate some sancocho and then um, I drank some tera flu because I haven't been feeling so good. I've been like having chills. I've been having a headache. So, and my throat is hurting, so hopefully it's not COVID. I'm really just hoping it's it's maybe my breast that's making me feel like this. Um, so she, after that, I knocked out and I fell asleep and I didn't wake up till like 10 o'clock at night. So right now, we are out in the city and we're getting a sandwich at Bahra Payan, B-A-R-R-A. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So there's my man right there in the corner sitting down and it's like a little diner shop. Well, not diner, but like, you know, you come, you sit down, and they take your order, and then they have sandwiches. So, and then they make the sandwiches in the back, back there. And I think they're open till 12. Okay, we are finally here. We're at the doctor's office. Dr. Carpenter's. And the office is right there, that door you see right there. And we're gonna go see why my baby are acting up. This is my outfit for today. My back is out. Half. Half out. And some jeans. It's really hot, but lately I've been feeling cold. Yep, today is what? Day two? And the day are? Angel? Mm -hmm. Today's day two in the DR? Day two. Day two. Today's Friday. January 7th. So hopefully I can get this shit resolved. Hola. Yo soy la doctora Alexandra Carvenrich. Ella es mi paciente Andri Garcia. La operamos de los senos y hicimos una revisión de y el proceso de cicatrización. Ella vino de vacaciones y aprovechó para venir porque tenía un punto que se le había abierto. Entonces, ya que el punto está abierto, a veces se toman algunas decisiones que dicen, ah, no, pero entonces, ¿será que tengo que hacer una cirugía nuevamente? ¿Tengo que cerrar mi implante? ¿Qué tengo que hacer? En ese caso, si usted tiene comunicación directa con su doctor, siempre hay solución. Ella vino y hoy lo que vamos a hacer es que le vamos a dar tres, cuatro puntitos en ese punto que se abrió, le vamos a indicar antibióticos y, bueno, vamos a seguir la evolución que ella va a tener. checked because I cracked this one and I cracked that one and hopefully I can get them replaced. So we're here for that. My boyfriend here, my <laughs> he might get evaluated and see, you know, if he can be a candidate for the resin tea. It's also you know, you have to take care of it. So yeah, I'm not liking how my hair is looking right now. It's looking a little funky. But whatever, it's gonna have to hold. Yeah. Looking a little pale. They're not as shiny as they once were. It's okay. Like a little strip mom, huh? So we just got out from doing my teeth. Yeah, she did. So what she did, my doctor. She polished it. Why it looks so like oily now? Diablo, pero que no. Yo no, yo no puedo. Yo no puedo. 
So she polished my teeth and she fixed this tooth and this tooth that they were a little bit cracked on the top. So yes, that's what we got. And then she did a cleaning on top of that because I was due for cleaning. And it all was for $125, which isn't bad. So I don't have to do a cleaning for another six months. So like if I want to come back in another six months, I could just come back and get my teeth whitened and done again or get whatever needs to get fixed. And yeah, I could just do it here in the DR. So I'm gonna leave their Instagram here if you guys want their information. They do um, resin, which is what I have in my teeth now. Resin composite, or you could do porcelain. And they do any type of other dental work and they're very nice. And they got back to me real quick. Like I wrote, to, I wrote them a message yesterday and they answered me and they got me in today. So yeah i'll leave their instagram right down here down below and it's up to you guys if you want to follow them let them know that i sent you thank you so where are we going now helados boom we're going to helados boom we have some ice cream on the helado boom my hair looks brown in this in this lighting the sun is not So, dime ahora, Tilin, lo que tú estabas diciendo ahorita. What did I say? I don't know, you were talking about something. What were you talking about? Um, what are you talking about? I'm good. You were throwing some jokes. No, no, never mind. Now you don't want to say it because you're on camera? Yeah, <laughs> what kind of jokes? I wasn't saying anything. You were saying some jokes. No, about what? Que se yo, my imagination, and you were like oh. imagine something else. Oh, oh so you, you want me to say that on camera? Nah, never mind. I said the you told me to imagine the taco shell wrapped in the uh, with the seawater as if it was Baja Blast uh, so, juice soda, whatever the hell it is. Uh huh. Baja Blast. That's and the ocean. And then you said, can you imagine? I'm like, yeah. Can you imagine doing something else? <laughs> nah. I think in Spanish it would have been a lot funnier yeah. than in English because yeah. <laughs> he has a dirty mind. So that right there is. The como se dice? It's a truck for, for prisoners. It's a truck for prisoners. You do not want to get caught here in the DR and get put in one of those things. It looks like a hot oven in there. Yeah, you're taking a jelly put your in there. And chains and everything. That should look That's like a jail transport. A jail transport. I think it's crazy. And we got the fly over there. This is La 27 de Febrero. This is the main. Okay, como se dice? The main streets. Yeah, one of the main streets. One of the main streets. <laughs> we are in El Mercado. Mocano, el Mocano, ¿verdad? El Mocano Restaurante.